Andrew, why are we back here again? Okay, so everybody knows we shot <clears throat> 621 Buttonwood uh, a couple weeks ago. And we're back again because we just listed 620 right across the street. Right across the street. So what, what a big difference in the two properties. And we'll be showing you a lot of these differences. Um, we're excited that we're, we're obviously getting another listing out here on Longboat Key. Uh, but we look forward to, to showing the new property. All right, 620 Buttonwood Drive on Longboat Key listed for 1.825 million. Come on in. Before we go inside, a little teaser, you wanted to show them what? So right next to the house, there's a, a space to put your boat. Um, and what's great is, is that the property, um, you know, the, the community has its own boat launch. So you can pull, you're not fighting with, with tourists and whoever else is putting their boat in and out. Um, I've actually never even seen anybody down at the boat launch. So it's very, very easy to pull your boat, uh, put your boat in, pull your boat out at the end of the day, and you have plenty of space on the side of the house here. Uh, the current owners, that's what they've been doing, is storing their boat here on the side of the house. So you have plenty of space for that. But if you didn't want to do that, there is space at the deep water boat basin. And by the way, what's the biggest boat we saw back there? There's a 42 foot fishing boat that's back there on a lift. Um, you should easily be able to get anything under 40 feet uh, in the boat dock space. And, and you can leave it in the water if you want to. It's no 500. Bridges, no bridges. No right? bridges. Yeah. It's $500 a year for a boat dock space. Um, and so you do have the option of sort of everything. And then if you go the other way down the street, you're only about two, two and a half blocks from your beach access right across the street. What is so it? It's 5130? I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's really close by. We took a walk down there. So we'll show you those images as we kind of move along here. But you're going to, you're so much to offer in this property, so come on in. Yep. Okay, so we're in this grand foyer, mm -hmm. right? And you can see how clean and really well done and upgraded this is, but let's first talk mechanicals, the things you don't see. So mechanicals for the house um, are completely done. You have a brand new roof, brand new air conditioning. I think the air conditioners are, are two or three years old. So you got plenty of time on those. Brand new tankless water heater. Um, Everything here has been updated. The bathrooms, the kitchen, the flooring, there's nothing to do. Yeah. Um, on top of all of the updates that have been done, a lot of the, the sort of, not necessarily mechanicals, but items that usually come up after closing, the pool is recently refinished. The entire backyard has been built out. To wait have till a, you, and wait till you see it. It's, it's spectacular. A show, it's a showstopper. Yeah, if you're looking to entertain, this is the house for you. You have boating, you have the beach, you have a backyard, you have tons and tons of opportunity to entertain here that would be a great, great opportunity if that's what you're looking for. And not only that, but everybody loves a split floor plan, right? So you've got three <clears throat> bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two of which are en suite, right? You've got that nice separation, right. nice distance from the master. And the master has a really large living space with two sliders. We're excited to show you all that too. And just the openness, it's a very inviting home. The neighborhood is just really, it just, honestly, yeah. it's one of those hidden gems and there hasn't been too much activity so, in here. Yeah, we, we just sold the property across the street at 621, but that's only the third house that's sold down this street in the last two years. So this would be, obviously we're opening the fourth sale, but just not a lot comes up down here, but Something that's really interesting down here as well is when you come down the street, all of the uh, landscaping is mature. All of the trees are mature. So it's not, um, it doesn't have sort of that cookie cutter uh -huh, feel. HOA yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and there, there is an HOA here, but it really is just $50 a month. It uh, allows you to tap into the, the water. Um, they really, you know, it's not real aggressive and, and trying to, you know, right. set huge amounts of rules and whatnot. So, yeah. um, it's great. Yeah, it's a really great community. And, and speaking to that, it's great for rental. And this would this brings in a lot of uh, high dollar rental income that we can tell you more about if you, you are interested in that. So, yep. we can go into more detail about that. But another thing I do like, too, speaking to the maturity, the, the homes are set further back from the road, which kind of gives that feeling of privacy, mm -hmm. you know, and lots of people that have lived down here on Buttonwood have owned for a long time or it's been in the family for a long time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, should we get started? Let's Absolutely. show the rest of the house. Yeah, let's show the rest of the house. <laughs> this is the guest suite, because I would say it's an ensuite because yep. we attach a bathroom, which is also open to the pool. Who doesn't love that? Yes, yeah, so you have views of the pool, views of the entertainment area. Um, you'll notice the flooring is all like throughout. You have uh, tile flooring throughout recessed lighting, crown molding, 
uh, again, everything here has been done. And it, it looks almost, you know, it really does look like this has never been used. I mean, truly, truly. It, you know, you, there are no, uh, you know, issues with the wall or paint. It looks like it was freshly painted, quite it really frankly. Does. So. And I think this is a king. Size. It is. It yeah, it's a king. Season. Plenty of space in here. I mean, it really is. And, and you'll notice there's a huge mm -hmm. uh, closet space as well. Um, you, you do have, so you do have one guest uh, suite that is en suite and then you have another guest room that has a separate bathroom on this side of the house as well. Yeah, and so there's, so when you pan around, you'll see the guest bathroom here to your left. Nicely done, just really the higher cabinetry, the nice uh, stone tops there, clean colors, clean mm -hmm. lines, glass, enclosed shower, and opposite is the the bathroom that you would, your guests would use right. if you have guests over. One of the things I love also is that they didn't just do courts um, in the in the kitchen. That really drives me crazy in houses <laughs> where they do the kitchen and then they go really cheap in the bathrooms. Uh -huh. They didn't do that here. You'll notice in every single bathroom, all of the countertops have been finished with with quartz, which is really, really beautifully done. So Yeah. And then behind here is another just great guest bedroom. I mean, your guests might end up staying quite a while, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> you have a lot of space here, so yeah. you can certainly entertain. Um, this is a queen size bed, but you do have room that if you wanted to, to squeeze a king in here, you could. Yeah, I think um, so. Again, everything's been done. You have recessed lighting, the crown molding. No, um, no popcorn ceilings. No popcorn ceilings. <laughs> uh, that's all been addressed. And, and really, truly, everybody wants tile now. If, you, if you're seeing uh, carpeting in a house, generally speaking, people are going to want to rip that people out. Are, people are going to want to tear it out, and they look at that as, oh, this is going to be a cost. You don't have to do that here. It is tile flooring throughout the entire property. So it really is well right. done. Right. So should we do the master next or the? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do the master. Okay. Okay. So behind the camera, there's a door. So this is a whole separate L shape. Actually, it's like a U shape wing. And then you have your bed on that side. You've got your uh, side by side laundry here, a nice little deep closet. Mm -hmm. You got, I guess we'll call it his closet here. Right. And we'll show you around in a second. For... I mean, you, you really have like a full living room inside your bedroom. So, you know, if you're, um, if you really wanted to get away from your guests, you can come in here and watch TV and uh, they can be on their own out there. I mean, it's like a whole living mm. space. It truly me. is. Yeah. And not only that, first of all, it's an, I guess, so to speak, an end unit. So you've got the extra windows, but then you have two sets of sliders to the Correct. pool. So pick your poison, which direction you want to go to the pool, right? It's really beautiful. And, and it lets a lot of light in here. I mean, because you have the extra sliders in here, it's really bright and feels, it feels like a really nice space. All right. So you've got this great king bed here. Plenty of space, king size bed. Um, you know, it, 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 there's even gaps here. I mean, there's plenty of room in this, in this room. Uh, looking back towards the the living room, but something that I really love is when you you can lay in bed and see the pool and the outdoor Ooh, space. Yeah. It's really really pretty. Um, again, a ton of light in this in this master bedroom, which I really love. Uh, if you come into the master bath, you'll notice um, they use a marble tile in here. Um, again, I, I really love it when they finish it correctly. And what I mean by that is they did the marble tile all the way to the ceiling instead of you see a lot of properties where they it's almost like they ran out of money and only did half the wall. Um, they went all the way up. So you have matching um, uh, countertops, stone countertops that match the, the marble walls. Um, plenty of space in the walk-in in walk shower. Uh, jacuzzi tub. And um, it's, it's really well done. Yeah. All right. So right off of the master over here, we have the two-car garage. Of course, your eat-in kitchen here. They put this nice little... Uh, removable island here, which you could yep. do a permanent one if you wanted to. You can, and I'm, I'm starting to see, I used to see this in Europe and in, in Mexico a lot. Um, you're starting to see islands where people put them in and put them on wheels that you yeah. can you know, unlock it and just wheel it out of the Flexible. way when you want to. Uh, but this one is, is removable. Um, again, everything's been done. You have stone countertops, really high-end cabinetry, stainless steel appliances, the backsplash has been done, recessed lighting, crown molding, everything's done. I mean, this truly is in move-in condition, ready to go. Um, you know, it, you wouldn't have to do any renovation here. Uh, it, it really is everything's done. Yeah, everything's done. and I love KitchenAid. Oh, yeah. I think KitchenAid is a great product yep. here, um, throughout the uh, kitchen here. And we forgot to mention the surround sound throughout. We, we were do. jamming the other day, and it's, yep. just, it's just 
sets the tone and it's nice for a game day or movie night or right. whatever. Right. Um, and then kind of as you walk back this way and plenty of room uh, to fit even more furniture. I think it's I, I think it's somewhat lightly furnished yeah. in some areas of the home. Like you could probably put a, a baby grand in the front here Plenty or room. an array of different kind yeah. of arrangements. And then you step in here and you've got this really great built-in TV set with a great little fireplace, remote controlled. Uh, and certainly everything is all about the center of the pool. Everything is you know centered around the outside, which is amazing. It's amazing outside. <laughs> and you know, I, I love these spaces where not only have they been well done, but you'll notice some of the details where they match the the stone mm -hmm. counters in the in throughout. The, throughout. I mean, so like throughout. the kitchen matches the stone counters they put here in the living room, uh, but the views really do open up to the the pool, and uh, which provides makes this room again throughout the house it's really bright and has a ton of light in here. Um, great entertaining space. I mean, I, I love when when they have bars like this. I mean, I, I think it's just a great uh, feature to have. And, and truly, I mean, you look around and you're like, well, geez, I could really entertain probably 25 or 30 people yeah, here. comfortably. Comfortably. Well, especially with the outside, which they haven't seen yet. Right, and the outside is incredible. It's so that, I, my guess is, is that whoever buys this is going to be somebody who really does like to entertain quite a bit. I'm ready for this fire pit. It's beautiful. TV, game day. I mean, they have surround sound out here, a fan, you know, two fans. So like truly like I, I, I envision myself if I were to purchase this house, I can see me and my buddies out here late at night watching football. You've got surround sound speakers that are built in. You've got this great area. I mean, even if it rained and poured out here, You're you good. can just shut all these curtains, still watch TV and have surround sound. Um, the pool and the deck space are absolutely beautiful. The pool is just refinished. So, I mean, you're not going to have to do anything to the pool for many, many years. Um, but one of the greatest features, I think, of this house, the landscaping is just incredible and makes it so private back here. So, you know, when you do come back here to the pool, um, you not, not only do you have the entertaining space here, not only do you have the pool, but behind the pool, they have a volleyball court set up that's completely landscaped in for privacy. I mean, if you wanted to entertain 30, 40 people out here, along with the 20, 20 plus people inside, you could do exceptionally well. Yeah, um, and yeah. what I notice, and a lot of people want to know when they're purchasing a property, especially a property like this, is the, I know you touched on it, the privacy right. from the neighbors as well. So this neighbor has one little window that I don't think people are lo really looking out at. It looks like a, a bedroom window that sits higher up. And this one, there's a teeny tiny window. So I, to the privacy component, it's extremely private. Okay, so you get a good view of how large this is and how really it extends your indoor living space to outside. Mm -hmm. And we, I kind of, I really like that this doesn't have a cage because it gives a very different feel of ambiance. And by the way, where the grill is, this is stubbed out. If someone wanted to do an outdoor kitchen, I don't really think you need. I mean, you certainly don't, don't, you don't need, need to. Right. But if you wanted to, you you have plenty of space. And it's really set up. Right. It's already set up for that. Yeah. And then behind the camera too, um, it's also stubbed out for a hot tub if somebody wanted to install a hot tub. Yep. And of course, what a great idea. I mean, this is really a resort style property. It through is. Through and through. I mean, I, the landscaping is so heavy on the sides and behind the house. It's just really, really private. And you know, if you had friends over, it, it just you could really entertain a ton of people back here, and it's just be great, like really, yeah. really private. So. so again, so, so this is a three bedroom, three full bathroom, twenty four thirty square feet under air. Right almost well a third an acre on the lot so you don't find that often the location 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 620 buttonwood offered at 1.825 million we would love to show it to you um, i can be reached on my cell call text 941-544-7690 and you can reach me andrew reese on my cell at 941-586-2460 and always click the link below, shaylatwit.com. And before we end on this note, I want to thank you for coming back as a subscriber. And if you aren't subscribed, please click the subscribe bell and like, comment. We always respond to every comment. Um, and we thank you so much.